Yeah. It's uh, for East Korean and uh, Shanghai. That is correct. This is the movie called Manthan. Okay. Uh, Manthan story is based on the Amun Cooperative, uh, not the Amun Cooperative as well. And the story is by Burgess Kuren, the father of the White Revolution, and Sean Kennedy. Right, very good answer. Team uh, 6 gets 10 points. You guys are following the movie or? Okay, good. The team 1, you are direct. Uh, it's a little, little long question, but uh, I have to give you all the clues. Uh, so it's a Shakti Peet that has been declared a UNESCO heritage site. Hindus believe that the head of the god is Sati, the head. Uh, fell in the area where her body was dis dismembered, like the Yoni has fallen in Kameka and other places. The head has fallen there. The shrine is located in one of the natural caves on the stream. There is no temple structure, just like Kameka. Just a low mud altar and a small stone worshipped as a goddess. Pilgrims climb the 100 meter high cone of the Chandragup and Khandevari mud volcanoes formed in the intersection of three tectonic plates. The three tectonic plates meet there and mud volcanoes are there. Local Muslims also remember the place calling it Nani Mandar and serve as a custodian of the cave camp. So, which temple and where is it? So, where is it in something like you can say uh, Cape Canaveral in Florida? Okay, something like that. So, Which can be found on national flags of different On national countries. flags, not on national flags, team one. These are the exports. Exports of East India Company. Of East India Company. Okay. Exports of East India Company. Some questions one has to put a straight face, okay? Uh, yeah. Nothing really comes to my mind. Nothing's coming to your mind. No. Yeah, no pass. Pass. These are what are the features of the state emblems of countries? Now state emblems of countries. Very complicated, but yeah. Places of war. Names of different places of war. Then how how do you get that? Wonderful one. That's what it is. Okay. So that is, you can see on the left, that is actually that is Shagun Bari, Bari, Pan Bari, Adabari, and Janak Bari. Okay. Uh, so that's why I have to keep a very straight face. Uh, good that you work out and the such questions have to be answered, otherwise the plan is not there. Okay. Uh, so these are the different places. We start with Adabari, Janak Bari, Shagun Bari, Bari, and Pan Bari. Okay. Good answers. Uh, I would have, I would have 
can give my silly company answer this question. <laughs> okay, good one. Right. Uh, so next question would be five. Okay, such beams that you see, you know, many times when we go to forest, this lovely beam that we all struggle to take photographs. Uh, such sun beams have a name which is also the behavior shown by animals like deer, bear, uh, frogs, ocelot, many other animals. I just picked the top five. Okay, what are these rays called? And, and what is the behavior? These animals are called something because of this behavior. Okay? And the names of these sunbeams are also called the same. Yeah. Is Komyo Revi, Komyo Japanese Okay, Komyo Revi, okay. Or Komyo Revi, like. I know. It's not Japanese, otherwise, I can't remember. Then what's the behavior? The behavior, the. Uh, the. 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 Leaves of different ways don't touch each other even if they get close. So okay. that's why you can get this. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. But what is, yeah. the, what is the, this thing? I don't know that. No? Not correct. So, team 1? Wait a minute. Team 1 is going to answer a lot of. He's taking his breaths very yeah. leisurely so that he's going to give a long answer. So uh, the behavior is hibernation. Hibernation? And the rays are called hibernating rays. Hibernating rays. Hey, they are never hibernates. <laughs> Pass. Keep it on, keep it on. The behavior is crown shyness. Crown shyness. Crown shyness. Oh, crown shyness. Huh? So the key is one person. And? And the rays are taken down. Team 4. For the second part, we are guessing that uh, animals, they shout means the shout. Call upon different species. No. Because you are direct at the audience? Browsing. See, these animals they appear only during only these certain parts of the day. Right? Dusk. Yes, dusk and dawn. They appear during dusk and dawn, during twilight. And so what are they called? Not twilight. There's another more interesting name. It's called crepuscular. Okay? So these are called crepuscular rays. And these animals like to have diameter, nocturnal, like that, you have crepuscular, which are active during the dawn and dusk. Okay, uh, that was your know, next, next question is to uh, team 6. So there's this idyllic village. Uh, good, then the question is not your traveler. Okay. <laughs> I, I take this chance if you have time. So the, the idyllic village of Milam lies in the banks of the Gori Ganga, which originates from Milam Glacier. Not very far away, the Gori Ganga means the Kali Ganga at Jogiji. The border with China is now closed. All the residents have moved on from Bumisiari at lower altitudes, making Milan a ghost town, or as the local tourists guide claim in Hyperbole, the highest uninhabited village in the world. Now, in the mid 1800s, Milan and its neighboring areas were the supplier of what to the British Empire and its colonial expansion plan. So, be careful with the term supplier of whatever to the British Empire and its Colonial French plants. Yeah. Say a poppy for opium. Not poppy for opium. Yeah. Gurkha soldiers. Gurkha soldiers. Good answer, but wrong. Okay. Not Gurkha soldiers. Indigo. Not indigo. Colonial expansion plants, huh? Cartridge is not cartridges. Okay. Pundits, that's correct. Wonderful answer. These were the pundits. Okay. Uh, so Nan Singh and Nan Singh are the most famous. So these are the people who were extremely good at uh, 
cartography to the server of India and these people and send them all across uh, Asia. Okay. Uh, so thanks for Kishan Singh and all from Milan. Very good answer. This is, uh, I think, one of the best answers of the day today. Very good. Okay. So they are called Bhutia Pandits, uh, Pandit Nang Singh and all that. Uh, so they were the surveyors of the uh, survey of India. Okay. Ten points to team five. Four. Next question to team five. Okay. So uh, team five, Amitabh Ghosh is uh, the hungry type. Narrates the story of PRB, a young biologist from Seattle, who is wanting to research about an elusive mammal uh, in the region around Canning, a small town named after Lord Canning, the Viceroy. The story becomes strongly with politics, bad memories, the Manish Jabi massacre, and other human faults. These are all my English, okay? Don't worry. The pursuit of the animal remains elusive. Where was PRB doing her research, and what was the animal she was looking for? So if you tell the animal, give a proper descriptor, okay? Don't say gibbon, tell bullock gibbon, okay? So what, where was Piyani doing her research, very specifically? And Sundarbans. Sundarbans. And the fishing cat. And the fishing cat. Six. Okay. Sundarbans and Royal Bengal Tiger. Sundarbans and the Royal Bengal Tiger. No? Sundarbans and uh, Gangetic Dolphins. The Gangetic Dolphin? Sundarbans and the Gangetic Dolphin. Sundarbans and the Gangetic Dolphin. You are just repeating his answer. Okay. <laughs> Sundarbans and bees. And bees. And, uh, Rudra Prayag. Rudra Prayag, okay. Uh, you are not right? So you, yeah? No, what did you answer? So there are birds and some cat and all something. So that's why I asked the very specific elusive, elusive animal. It is Sundar Who said Sundar Bans first? We get 5 points to team 5 for Sundar Bans. It is not the Gangetic Dolphin. It is the Iravati Dolphin. Okay? That is the whole purpose, right? Gangetic Dolphin is available every night. Okay? It is the Iravati Dolphin which is the Indian Sumatran. That is why she comes all the way to look for the Iravati Dolphin. Okay? And she is not able to find for almost the entire book. We get towards the last few pages. She sees the Iravati Dolphin. Okay. After getting Dolphin, we should have told the Iravati Dolphin. Okay. That's uh, thing five. Uh, got Dr. Sundarman, so team 6 gets the next question. Okay, the word X comes from Persian meaning foremost or leader. The first appointment was in 1674 as a subordinate to the real leader of Bible. Ironically, it was just a matter of time when this became the foremost and the original leader turned nominally title. Okay, X and Y. So there's a title which was supposed to be the foremost but politics happened in such a way that that became subordinate and the other one became stronger. Okay, now which are these two titles? Tell me which is X and which is Y. X is Emir and then Y is, is Emir. Y is Shah. Y is Shah. Okay, come on. Suddenly they are thinking where is Persia. Okay. Patsha. 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 Khalifa. Patsha and Khalifa. Emir and Khalifa. X is Ayatollah and Vaishya. Vaishya. 1674, I thought it was X is Nawab. X is Nawab. Vaishya. Vaishya. Okay, they have at least come a little bit nearer. <laughs> so far, we are far away in the Middle East. Okay. Uh, X is Khalifa and Y. Y is Vaishya. Not far away. 
Okay, what was the what was your direct? Okay, audience? Not sure. This is nothing to do with faraway places, it's in India. Not Sadasi <laughs> Pasala. Not Jahapana. Not Brazil. 1674, the period of the Marathas. That's correct. Peshwa and Chatrapati. Okay. Peshwa and Chatrapati. The Peshwa was initially the assistant in the Chatrapati, but later the Peshwa was being powerful. No. So Peshwa and Chatrapati. Yeah, actually, all that connected to the Paksha, Peshwa, and there. Right. So you, that was your direct. No. You are direct to team one. Okay. Then uh, the plan for Sage Vedyas was to install the numerous Shivalingas in Kurta Bahar to create a second dash. But he did not want to surpass the grandeur of that dash. So he came up with a little twist, a little change, a change plan. So, what is that place that he wanted to create the second dash in Kurta Bahar? And what was the Change that you get. What was the twist? So, this is a question to Rudra as well. Because <laughs> we have traveled to Japan together. So, let's see whether he remembers. This is, you know, I, I don't know in the audience, how many of you have been to Rudra This is a place you should all visit. It's the most fantastic archaeological find in, in this part of the world, actually. Right? Okay, so according to legend, we just wanted to create a second walk there and uh, come on. Kashi, he wanted to recreate yeah, He wanted to recreate Kashi and so what did he do? Uh, Instead of a temple, he did a cave. Okay? I think similar lines. Similar lines. Yes. Oh, you know, this is about Unakuti and this is the second time we are hearing Unakuti. I do a quiz on Unakuti once. Kashi? Yeah? Okay. 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 Exactly. Brilliant answer. That's what he did. Okay. He did. He wanted to build the second Kashi, but instead of building that one lakh or whatever, he made one less. Okay. One less finger, and that is why it is less than cash. Okay, uh, so this is what you did. Good answer. Uh, five points for uh, second cash, and uh, full ten points to team number uh, four. Okay, <laughs> team number five points, and team uh, this team number four. Okay, so this place itself is the capital of the. Kakatiya dynasty from 1163 to 1323 with various names like Mati Panda and all that, all standing out of the same belief. Now, what is this place that you see there on the left and connect it to the visual that you see on the right? You figure out? If you know the answer, you will be able to figure out what is the connection. Surely not a star, okay? Okay, right? Okay, uh, this is not direct. Why are we doing so much time? Come on. So, what is this place? Place is Warringer. Place is Warringer? Steep reserve. Steep reserve in the name of Einstein. That is pretty complicated. <laughs> Uh, the place is Swaringal and uh, like uh, the theory of relativity was proven. Theory of relativity was proven yeah. out there. Uh, like there was some uh, solar eclipse where the scientists came here to observe. Uh, that is not the Swaringal. Okay, wait a minute. This is Swaringal. This is Swaringal. I thought he was only invited to the president of Israel. 
Nope. Pass. Pass? You are not giving the first part of the question properly, okay? So the king of that place asks him to be the vice chancellor, chancellor of that people who is there. Vice chancellor and all that. They were asked this question. Huh? You are correct. Okay. So with various things like Omati Kranda all stemming on the same belief. So that is the belief. The, the connection is the belief. So all of these places, the word Banajal itself means, okay, one stone. Okay? So, so which is the, also the same origin as Einstein. Einstein also means one stone. Okay? So it's called uh, Vayangal means good Buddha. So there are Vayangal, Rubalu, Ikashika, Naga, these are all different names of the place, all with the belief that the place is made of one stone. Okay? And uh, who told Vayangal first? Who told Vayangal first? He five bits, five points. But uh, uh, all means one stone. The word Einstein also in German means one stone. Okay. Yeah. I think we are done with this round. So the next, uh, can we look at the scores? Scores. Keep a cumulative number so it's easy. Okay, can you get to prepare something for the next one round is written down so we'll make something. Give some paper. Yeah. Yeah, no, you want to A equal to 5, B 5, C 0, D 45, E 30 and F 10. So A is uh, 5, B is also 5, then uh, team C is yet to open, uh, then uh, Shantan something is written, 45, what they are reading right now, a good lead, but then a lot of scoring to be done, okay, don't worry, come on, uh, so this round is like a written round, okay, let's see what this round is about, so this is around the world in 5 questions, facts, so I thought, you know, I'm enjoying this. Uh, whenever I do business with my team, I thought, let me use some stuff. Questions? No, I'm not clear. That I'm not going to do. One is done, no problem. Pass to you. Okay, so the first, okay, the third one. So, let's see what the first question is, so that I'll pick out the item. So this is a technique of lost wax, which is a very, you know, the lost wax technique is used from the way since the dancing girl in Hungary or another, don't worry. But I will show you some object. So this object, okay, we don't have to feel and touch and all that. Such things is named after a tribe of metal sticks. Okay. So write team number with one, okay, then write your this. Okay? Yeah. So what is this thing called? It is named after Okay, I'll keep it here for Break it otherwise from whom I have taken, that's my sister will keep it. Okay, let's go to number two. Okay. So this is this looks like this. Okay, very clearly. You can make out. So now where into which country will you go to if you have to buy this souvenir? Okay? Look at this. And this is one tribe, okay? Which tribe? In fact, uh, when now I don't know whether you guys read the Guinness Book or not, but because in the quiz you can remember, once upon a time we used to get the Guinness Book of World Record, and this used to feature them, okay? Not this, the tribe used to feature, okay? For some reason. Now, which country? And uh, You can make out, right? Something is different. What is different? This, this kind of long, long neck. Okay. So this long neck. So you can see this, this is the wooden structure. Okay. Let's go to three. Ah.
Okay, you have to be careful with this, don't break it, so I just pass it around. Okay, so this is, it looks like this. Uh, so read the question, this is a fit magnet. It describes the famous imagery from the capital of a medieval kingdom. Just pass it. You have to tell me which kingdom. Or what is it? Yes. Capital. No, what is the capital? Capital. Nothing to do with the present. It's an illegal capital. You don't break this up. In fact, if you go to that place, you'll get only these items. They're the most famous about them. I'll show the audience also. This is the most famous imagery of that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's do four. Ah. Come on, we're ready. Move your camera. We can pass one to each. Okay. So these things, nothing is done. Okay. Not good. No. So these kind of uh, masks are masks from which in Delhi. So this is what I asked in the previous question. Okay. okay, don't keep it with you, I'll pass it. Okay, so this, now we, what is going around is a mask. From which civilization? If you want to stay, you can stay, huh? Don't forget about staying here. Give me up to masks. I'll do the same thing. Okay, last question. So this is also a fridge magnet. It looks like this. Okay, fridge magnet. Now this looks like a, is it the shape of a leaf? of a tree that is very, very particular to that uh, state of India. Okay? So which state of India is there? Or actually name the tree. That's what I'm asking. Name the tree. So this looks like the leaf of which tree, essentially. If you go to that state, you will get these souvenirs. Okay, pass me those masks. Yeah, get them back. Rather than have to again go back to the country. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these are leaves of which tree? This one. This one. Yeah, this is the tree. So this is the best tree for getting the leaf. So nobody can do it. Okay. Now let's please exchange. So quickly exchange. Five is uh, about the street magnets. Four. Four, four. Four is the civilization. Audience, what is this? Nobody? Anybody from the teams? Dokri. Dokri or Dokra. Okay. If you're in Dokri, Dokra. It's a tribe across. Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal, all of that. Okay, this uh, is Then this is from which state? To which country? Myanmar. Myanmar or Burma. Uh, and what is this? Tribe? Ah, the long neck. It's called the Padong. Okay, the Padong tribe. Now, these days they don't want themselves to be called the Padong. They call them to Kayan. Okay, so if you're looking Padong or Kayan, it's okay. Then the third one was what? Oh, that small uh, Buddha thing. Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya is correct. Ayutthaya. Uh, so this is from Ayutthaya. That is where the, you know, all the people were massacred and whatnot. Then the next one is from, these are? Aztecs. Not the Aztec. The Incas. Incas. This is a sun worshipping thing, right? Uh, the Incas. Uh, this is from uh, Peru, essentially. And uh, which tree is this? Chinar. 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 Okay. Chinar. 
The origin is believed to have come from a 14th century practice where peasants used to leave behind something deliberately for motivation and further. So what was left behind? Where? Or simply tell the face. Uh, she won the Oscar for that. Uh, and 
that is put the hands way back to the lock. She painted the one on the right, so that's the Krasna's painting. And the accent was right. She was the set was a great uh, expression. Okay, so put ten points to the uh, six, and uh, for Jackson the lock they got five. Two. Okay. Uh, so then the next question comes to team five. So here I want to precise terms. Okay, read carefully. A is a two-word term. We define the amount of concentration, the uh, amount of concentrated time a person can spend on a task without becoming diverted to some other activity. Okay, that is A. And B is a two-word slang used to describe the length of time it takes to realize. That an email is junk. The reason that I am asking together, there is some, some reason. Okay. So you know what is the, the amount of time, concentrated time a person can spend without getting diverted. There's no half points because it is pointless. Pass. pass, don't pass. If you've got something, I'll tell it out. No, no, I don't think. You've got it to go. Tell it. Yeah. Taking is, first is attention span, second is attention span. Lovely, that's a very good answer. Okay. Uh, it is, first one is attention span, that's the time you get diverted. And the next one is the attention span. Very good answer. So 10 points to team 4. Uh, team 3, you are direct. The leaves of this Estonia scholarist, that is Shanta Pandi, the state tree of West Bengal, are offered to the students at the convocation of the Bishop Party. Now it is known by many names. Scholar tree, Devil's tree, Wakewood tree, all that. But its most common English name comes from the fact that it was used in the process of making something related in the field of education. So what was its use and what is the name of the tree? It is used in the process of making some very common thing in the field of education. It is an English word like you know like the scholar tree or the devil tree like that. Okay? Field of education, which all of us have gone through. Pencil? Yeah, the pencil tree. A pencil tree used for making pencils. Used for making pencils, no? Yeah, something like that. That's not true. Casuarina. Don't switch other way, no? Is this a casuarina tree? Casuarina tree, no? Casuarina tree. It has to be in the field of. To make uh, desks. Okay, to make desks. Mm -hmm. So it's got desk, the desk wood tree. Yeah. Used to make uh, the mortar boards and the uh, mortar tree. Mortar tree was the top mortar board, okay, no? This tree used to make the scrolls like Scrolls? Part of the tree is used for manuscript. Scroll tree. Scroll tree. You can see rubber. Rubber. And uh, the part of the tree was used to make rubber specifically. Rubber as an Okay. You are correct, right? Audience? Blackboard tree, that is correct. Uh, and why is it called a blackboard? <laughs> because the, the pigmentation that you see, the black pigmentation, earlier used to come from this tree. Okay? So it's a blackboard tree. Okay. Well done. What's your name? How do you know about the blackboard tree? Oh, he read it in the 2015, he read about it. Hey, we should give some more. Okay, the blackboard tree, and it seems to make the pigment the blackboard. 
What is the second?
Sarko is uh, flesh and Vegas is eating. Team 5. The term Dhapot that we use is now intimately associated with Abadi Saga's slow uh, oven cooking, right? But its literal meaning is derived from Persian is actually different. Something that makes sense with some recent introduction to Indian kitchens. So this is my addition to the question. Okay, go So what is the meaning of Dhapot? That's the first part. Second part is during the colonial period, the word dumpok was hijacked by the Raj Kitchen and the dump pork was green. The dump pork was a boneless something sealed with sealed dove. So what is dumpok the dish of? And what first part is dumpok means what? Good one. 
You know this. The work is done. <laughs> nice to work on such answers. Good one. Because it's all around that belt, right? So we are done. Let's see this course. They didn't have a nice day today, but you know, they remember they qualified to the finals and it was a tough uh, qualifying to the finals. So team B and C, that is team, second team and team 2 and 3, uh, they end up with 10 points. Then, that is the, uh, the joint fifth. Now, fourth is team number 1 at 25. They wrote a lot of answers, but they did not speak out. This is their, their mind shy, I think. <laughs> Coming third with 60 points is uh, team number five. And second with uh, 75 points is the team D. Okay. With 75. And winning today's quiz out in the open grand quiz with 105 points is team number six. So I beat them two days in a row. And yesterday also they won the quiz in AC. And uh, it's wonderful. So they scored 105, 100 century also scored. So thank you everyone. I hope you Okay. <laughs> เฮาก็เลยบอกว่าเดี๋ยวเราต้องสั่งกันเดี๋ยวเราต้องสั่งกันคอมพิวเตอร์ไอ้ตัวนี้ตัวนี้ใช่ไหมเดี๋ยวเ
ঘনিষ্ঠতা কথাই কুইজৰ এই পৰিবেক্ষ চাৰু দেখিছো গৰকে কুইজৰ দিনত মই আহিব নোৱাৰিলো মই এটা আবেগিক মানে এটা পৰিবেক্ষ হৈ গৈ মই আজি যথেষ্ট দেৰি আহিছো অফিচৰ পৰা দৰ দৰকে এতিয়া মই বেক কৰি অফিচত যাম Good evening everyone. Uh, uh, it is really an honor to be standing here. I was a participant in a lot of Yota's quizzes and was a part of uh, the only girls team program. We at that point in time we used to go from quiz to quiz and uh, it's almost been 20 years. Today sitting in Ochinta's quiz, I came to know as I mean, I came to realize how much has changed over the years and how much I don't know. Uh, I mean, since I'm out of touch and now that hunger is there, I think I'll start visiting some more quizzes because, uh, you know, such amazing questions, sir. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, as always, Dipakorda, Dilikhormada, everyone else with, uh, associated with Oagokho, Nova Quiz Forum, uh, the stalwarts fit in the team in today, sir. All of you, sir, for taking out your time and coming here. Uh, we, the family thanks you from the bottom of our hearts, and uh, we hope to keep going every year. Thank you very much. Thank you. 